coming to you straight from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of NFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to settle for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The New Orleans Zombies battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, oh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oppa! Uh huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. He could go all the way. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. And another interception. This quarterback, bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. It's about a three yard pickup. Third down and, well, good luck. At this 
pass rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. First down. See if they can get something going here. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Third down and the punter is warming up. Put on a display there. Touchdown! <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hey, kid. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Third down and long. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. The offense is pretty much on. The man hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit.
And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Second and three. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. And he held on to that one for a first down. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's the red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> and so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. First and two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It looks like we've got a penalty here. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed this. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and more than the QB would like. Four 
charging him. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. warming up. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. <laughs> now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Look, if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. Oh, man, he really... Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do bingo. Bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And that'll be second down and four. And he gets three yards on that run. Dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. At this 
point with multiple interceptions. He Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. First down and five. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and two. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and one. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. First down and six. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and six. quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? 
the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. First down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten past. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. bloody footprints to the new line that's a first down. oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad yeah it was probably all the diarrhea no you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to mexico forever to crap their pants uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives but you know, not the guests what the fuck are you talking about uh, i don't really know right now what day is it the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring <laughs> And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. Yo, it was close, though. You go yep. toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Briggs started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. <laughs> here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And 
Pickett with another pick. The QB says, I don't know almost throw intercept. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on screen. He damn near blew my face off. That was before the class even started. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw 90210 was on the ah, another. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. <laughs> First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Turnover. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> this guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. <laughs> Quarterback finds his man for the first with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Today, folks, these teams have bad blood. 
blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Third down and three. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And he's off to the races. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Man, I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. First and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. The QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom to the moon. Another look. He's leaving it all out on the field today. Imagine a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense has only two linemen left on the offense, and we'll need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say mean things about short people, Grim. At least they don't look down on people. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and eight to go. Second down in a lot. And the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Uh, thank you. I do my part. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And like Bricks' balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. 
He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The Purple Mutant Eaters were devoured by the opposition today and lose this game by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...